I'm Elsie Lee Robbins, and I created a participatory visualization out of Legos. In my office kitchen, I put out an empty square base plate with some axis labels. On the Y axis is how much sleep did you get last night? And on the X axis is how caffeinated are you? I invited everyone to put a Lego brick on the scatter plot to participate. There were only two rules, one Lego per person, and you can stack Legos. The students, faculty, and staff in my department played along, resulting in a pretty fun scatter plot. This is a participatory visualization. For most data viz, you start out with a data set and you go from there. But for this visualization, I didn't know what the data was going to look like when I started it. This was co-created by the members of my community, each person adding their own personal data point, growing the data set over time. This format is customizable. You can change the prompts on the X and the Y axes. This one is, how many more weeks of winter will there be this year? And how many years have you lived in Michigan? I put this out on February 2nd, and I'll do the math for you. Winter doesn't end in Michigan until around mid to late April. For this one, I experimented with color encodings, like having the color of the Lego represent another dimension. How confident are you in your guess? The clear and white Legos represent low confidence, and the darkest colors represent the highest confidence. And things don't always work out. I tried a histogram of commute times, and the histogram was okay. It shows the, how long the commute times are to our building, with the average being about 15 to 20 minutes. But I tried to have a legend where the color represented the mode of transportation, like drive a car, ride the bus, walking, and I added extra space at the bottom of the legend for people to add additional modes of transportation if theirs wasn't already listed. People got confused and thought the color legend was another place to stack Legos, so this didn't quite work out how I expected it to. But this whole project started with a random idea of, what if we had a scatter plot made out of Legos? I just wanted to experiment with a novel way of engaging people to participate with data visualizations. And sometimes it fails, but we learned from those failures. Having a blue Lego brick be the color marker for the legend was an affordance and invitation for others to stack Legos on top of there. And of course, I'm not the first person to use Legos in data visualizations. Pierre Dravacevic and Yvon Jansen have a collection of data physicalizations, and 14 of them are about Lego, spanning back to 2008. There's also research about using Legos for data visualization. Stuart Flack and colleagues had both kids and adults use Legos to gather and present information. And there's a paper by Adam Strantz with the amazing title of Data as Bricolage that explores how novices can learn data visualization design with Legos. So why use Legos? Why not use an Excel sheet and create a bar chart? What if your data viz goal was fun and playfulness, rather than speed and efficiency. How do you measure success for that? What are the guidelines and best practices? I invite you to explore Legos and data visualizations with me. A few people recreated the caffeine versus sleep scatter plot. Shout out to Katie Reagan and the UAB Office of the Schol Scholarly Communication. Feel free to recreate this idea, remix it, break it, add on to it and choose new X and Y axis prompts. And most importantly, don't forget to have fun. We have a question from Megan. Um, what would you do differently next time on the failed legend idea to help users understand the intent? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I was thinking about this and, and maybe instead of like having a blue Lego brick as sort of the marker, um, maybe if I like um, made that as like marker and like filled it in, colored it in with marker, something that like shows that like blue is biking, but not necessarily like you can't put your Lego piece down on something that's just colored in with marker. So maybe something like that. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely interested in hearing your ideas, if anyone has any ideas for how to fix that. Yeah, that's 
an interesting problem. Thanks for sharing that. I think that leads to my next question, which was, um, you know, did you land on Lego immediately? Like, how did you come to the decision that that was going to be the best medium for everyone? Was it familiarity with those products already? And like, did you consider others for this project? Um, I, yeah, so I sort of started with the idea of like, what if we used Legos to create visualizations? Um, and that was sort of the start and motivation of the project, um, just for fun. And so I guess like, I didn't start from an idea of like, let me create an experience for my community to participate in making visualizations with me. It sort of started with the Lego. So yeah. That makes sense. Um, do you have anything on the horizon for this project? Like uh, what's next? What else do you want to pull people about or find out that you think might be interesting? Yeah, so one that uh, I recently did between making the video and now was um, a map of Ann Arbor. So Ann Arbor is like the town that we live in. Um, and so on one side, I had like the map as like a legend of like, find on this map where you live. And then on the like Lego base plate, put your Lego down on the coordinate that like corresponds to that location. Um, so that's been fun um, with like the map geographic. <laughs> aspect and then usually what I do is like um I'll do like a little slack poll in my like organization water cooler thread um and I'll ask people like what are you most interested in participating in and I'll throw a couple of examples up there and like ask people to give me their examples too if they have ideas for what could be done next um so that's usually how I um, play with those ideas as you continue to do these, are you are you disassembling them or are they too precious? Like <laughs> if you're reusing the bricks or do you just keep investing in all of this Lego? Um, yeah, I'm not precious about it. <laughs> um, I only have the one base plate, so I do have to like keep taking them off. Um, I take the, the pictures of them and to like capture them. Um, but I guess like I do lose some of it because like if there's a big stack of Legos, you're not really gonna see what colors are underneath if you just take a picture. And then sometimes like, depending on the angle, since it's 3D, it might be hard to see some of the different Lego blocks. Um, I don't have an unlimited supply of Legos, so I have been taking them down, but it would be nice to like save one if there's like a really good one. I think we need to, as a community, get her in front of Lego yeah. and <laughs> get a sponsorship. You can be like, I don't know if they're Lego influencers, there probably are, um, but just such a cool project. Thank you so much uh, for sharing with us.